All right, everybody, I have a drill press for you. This is a 13-inch drill press by Central Machinery. That's right, it comes from Harbor Freight. Now, the retail price on this item, man, that's cheap, 200 bucks. There is a condition on it that I need to tell you about, and I like the way you set that. We can uh, zoom in on that and show everybody without having to move it around. Notice there the collar that fits on that, that shaft that the base moves up and down on. That's a cast iron collar and it is broken. We do have the pieces to it. I don't know if you would want to fix that with a pipe clamp or maybe just drill a hole through it and use a cotter pin to slide it up and down. Uh, I don't know. It's, a, it's an expensive tool though and that seems to be a minor defect. Seems like you could certainly work around that. Maybe you've got some idea of how you might be able to make that functional. It uh, doesn't affect the motor, the drill bit, it's just the, the stand there that's adjustable, the base that's adjustable, that little collar. I haven't really operated it because, we do have the crank for that by the way, don't we? I know we do because I took that out of the box. That is a $200 retail price, call and give me a bid. Also on the table I have a DVD player. This is like a home DVD unit, plugs into the wall, it's got your RCA jacks on the back. This sells for $30. $30 at the Family Dollar Store, but I don't have a remote to it. Also on the table, man, that scared me. I don't know what that sound was. I also have a power inverter. It's a 1,000 watt inverter. These sell for $90. They take current from your car battery and convert it to a 110 power that you can plug regular outlets into, uh, uh, regular appliances into. It's a, uh, they're very expensive, 90 bucks. And then I have a pendulum lamp for your dining room table or maybe your breakfast nook or you could put it over maybe a kitchen work island. Uh, retail price on this is $55. It's got a very thick frosted globe. It's done in, uh, what, what style would you call that? Almost industrial, huh? Almost industrial looking, the way it's got that wire mesh in there. Um, it's got an adjustable pendulum, so you can adjust exactly how far above the table it's gonna be. $55 retail price. I got a quartz heater on the table, brand new in the box. These retail for about, uh, $40. Call and tell me what that's worth. Hey, if you got an Xbox or an Xbox Live, I got a great game for you called Dance Dance Revolution by Konami. And the retail price on that is $54. I have a three horsepower compressor pump. It's getting good compression. Retails for $100. It's a pump. If, you, if you've got a bad one on your compressor, you, all you need to add is an air tank and a motor and you'd have a compressor. Call and tell me what that's worth. Now on the table, I have some drinking glasses. I have two drinking glasses in a cut crystal design. I have two goblets here with a frosted star design on them. And I have three um, colored tumblers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glass glasses. Call and tell me what that's worth. Hey, I got some little garden cart wheels for you. These have solid rubber wheels. They're what, about six inch wheels? eight inches if you measure the rubber. They're gonna be up on the bitter board as rubber wheels, two of them. And it's about a ten, $20 retail price. And the last item I have on the table is a box of Serenity uh, pads. And this is a, a package of 42 pads. Got a little tear on the cover right there. Retail price on these, these are about $17, $18 at the store. Call and give me a bid. And that's the 10 items on table number five. Let's go to the bitter board now.